Today we're taking a quick look at the Ecotech Marine Vortec MP40s. I have a brand new WES and WQD model as seen here. For my first test, I'm just doing a basic flow comparison at 100% on a 48 inch 40 long aquarium in which I have added some neutrally buoyant beads typically used in fishing so you can get an idea of the flow in the tank. You can see in the video that it's moving the beads all around up to what's the halfway mark, that molding at the bottom. A few beads are getting stuck on the grill and you might hear some clicking. That's the beads just hitting the propeller. On this test unit it's no big deal. But I just wanted to show how far it's pushing the beads and the distribution in the water column. You can see it pushes them high, low, and everything else. Switching to the MP40 WQD, you can tell right away from the that it's got more flow, 40% more flow in fact. It pulls the beads in and really pushes them out farther. The distribution within the water column is a lot better too. this angle you can really see that halfway mark at the bottom 24 inches in the middle of this tank it's pushing them well past that point then I wanted to take a look at the undertow reach of the pumps Again, we have the MP40 WES first. I placed all the beads at the far right, and you can see the flow is starting to slowly pull the beads in this pump. The reach doesn't quite go a full 48 inches. But switching to the MP40 QD, beads again at the far right side, 48 inches away from the pump, you can immediately see the undertow start to pull on those beads towards the pump. The additional 40% flow is really evident here and quite impressive. A strong undertow will really help circulate the full body of water in the tank. And now we get that similar distribution we had in the first video as it has now pulled all the beads in. And next up, I wanted to simply try different medium so we could really see the flow. So I got a small air pump so you can see bubbles. This will help you see the reach and distribution a little better. Looking at the tank, again it's a 48 inch tank. The black molding on the bottom represents halfway point, so 24 inches. And this MP40 WES is getting to about the halfway mark with some real power, real movement. So 24 inches of real good flow. A little past that you're getting some smaller bubbles so it's still moving. But switching to the MP40 WQD, same test, you can see right away that it pushes those bubbles well past that center mark. Again, the 40% more flow is evident. And as we take a closer look at the center of the tank, you can actually see the bubbles are reaching about 36 inches into this 48 inch tank. A good foot farther than the MP40 WES. Finally, I wanted to hook the pump up to my tank so you could get a look at it in a real reef environment. This is a 210 gallon, 6 foot tank. I typically run four Vortec MP40E WESs on it, but right now we only have the one brand new MP40 WES, so you can see the flow. Now what I did here is I defrosted two cubes of frozen food and just put them directly into the propeller. You can see with only a single pump, it does a real good job at distributing the food even all the way to the end of the six-foot tank. You can see some of the fishes going after 
what is foo down there if you can't see it. Switching to the MP40 WQD for the last time here, again going to do the same test. I did this because this is how I typically feed and you can see the food well and the fish go after it. The first thing I noticed is how much faster the QD model pushes the food down the tank. It really distributes it a lot better and you can actually see right away the food is already starting to circulate back. That's all I have guys. I just want to give a huge thanks to Ecotech Marine for lending me this new pump to evaluate. I've really enjoyed it. Thanks.